young people tell us that this is the safe space they very often refer to it as home um, they we often are the only adults that they trust uh, with their problems and worries and everything else that is happening in their lives I think what is happening is that the LGBT sector um, kind of tends to rely on local government funding and local government contracts and sadly uh, those um, funding, this funding and that, those contracts are now kind of um, mm -hmm. dwindling away so you don't have that support anymore and you don't have that, that funding anymore. Well, um, it's hard to say. We, we do hope that we, the young people that we have worked with, that we build up their resilience enough that they will be able to fit for themselves. Uh, I more dread um, thinking about young people who we wouldn't be able to reach because we are not here, who have never come for our doors because they haven't had a pleasure. We know statistically that they are more likely to uh, consider self-harm and, uh, well, to, to self-harm full stop, but uh, to also um, um, have suicidal ideations and we also know about young people who um, are having high levels of stress. They tell you that this is, you know, the safe space and this is where uh, they actually grow so much because they come from the centre and we can see them being timid and being a bit shy and, and, and um, um, kind of self-conscious, I suppose is the word. Um, and kind of the few weeks down the line, they are the loudest in the group and you can't get them to be quiet because you have a workshop. It's actually quite pleasing because you achieve that outcome for them and it's very, very rewarding.